Warriors are looking for the fifth straight win. The traditional haka dance, a big part of the Hawaiian culture. Can they get another road victory? Hawaii and Utah State coming up. Dustin Blunt, three yards deep in his end zone. He'll come out of there with it. Blunt to the 25. Breaks one tackle and then goes down. Four receivers and the single back look in this run and shoot. Out of the backfield, catch by Alex Green. Green across the first down strike and has a first down from Romney Stadium at Utah State. Moniz going far sideline. Salas, his main target, has it. And that's a first down grab to the Aggies 26 yard line. DeAndre Burrell at the helm. Handed off on the end around play, and it goes for short yardage. And they'd like to see Burrell make it the plays without pressing as they run the football straight ahead and tough sledding up the middle. Three year starter. Third and five now for Burrell. Through the hands of his intended receiver, and he'll have to punt it away. Three receivers left for the junior. He looks to that side of the field in the hands of Kalo Polaris. Makes one man miss, and then he's gang tackled at the 13 yard line. They come have to check off and look for that second option on offense. They'll hand it off. In the run game, it's Cheesy Demude. No, it's uh, Green instead. And their big win against Nevada last week. Here's a delay into the hands of Green. He has some room across the 45 and close to a first down. Moniz over the middle, catch made by Salas in a first down, brought down by Marsh at the Utah State 41. They'll hand it off, it's Demude, and he has some room to the left side and has a first down as he tumbles inside the 30-yard line. First Hawaii series, first and 25 from the 44 this time. Moniz over the middle, Salas the catch, inside the 25, beats a man, and is close to a first down as they get a huge chunk back. They're going to the run game with Green straight ahead and appears to have the first downs. They're having that same type of success here early. Hand off to Green, and this time tougher yardage. Second and seven, pressure coming over the middle. Polaris the catch, and that's a first down to the Aggies five yard line. At the slot position this year, he's played all over the football field. They'll hand it off to Green straight ahead. And on first and goal, he gets a little bit of that yardage. Second and goal from the two. Green straight ahead, driving for the goal line. He's in, touchdown Warriors. The mix of the run and the pass, and Green was uh, the blue-collar guy in that drive, and he finds the end zone. First down, Aggie, short field now at their 45-yard line. Straight ahead, Spate on the carry, a couple yards up to the 47. No huddle look on third and short. Hand off to Spate, trying to stretch it to the outside. Can't get to the edge as he is swarmed under. First down after the touchback at the 20-yard line for the Warriors. Moniz near sideline, catch made by Salas at the Warriors 35. Burrell from the gun, pressure coming downfield with the ball, and it is incomplete. And four interceptions thrown uh, last year. As you saw, that was a record as well. The kickoff from Diaz, and here's a big return from Hawaii across the 40-yard line. Early stages, second quarter from Logan. Here's Green, spins away from a tackler and good yardage across the 45. Position to improve their overall team speed, it's paid off. Third and long now, Moniz, Polaris, he's close to the first down. Draw, Green, straight ahead, hit and dropped. Moniz, screen, inside screen, Polaris breaks a tackle and the second effort got him the first down. Moniz has some time, pocket collapsing, running out of there, room to run, and he slides short of the first down, empty backfield for Moniz. Pressure on him, over the middle, Salas the catch and a first down to the 17. Going into the wind on this drive, from the 17, handoff to Alex Green, room to run, to the 10, to the 5, and a touchdown for Hawaii. They answer with two big plays, a catch by Salas and Green with his second touchdown run, and the visitors back in front after that 17-yard scamper. Enos to kick it away. Harrison Williams back deep, and it'll be one of the upbacks. Carrying it for Utah State. Glad you're with us. Weather wasn't a story in the first quarter, is now in the second quarter, and there's a fumble by Burrell, and he'll eat the football back at the 18. We want the chilly weather, we want the adverse conditions. They'll set up a screen this time, and it's through the hands of Spate. 
third and 18 at his 18 yard line. Burrell flushed out of there. Throws underneath, it'll be well short of the first down. But as a DB, I can tell you, I would relish the opportunity to be able to do that. Here's a shovel pass to Alex Green, and that's a good defensive play by Walter McClinton, the strong safety from the 33-yard line. Hand off to Spate, and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and leans forward for a yard, maybe two. Now they've got a double tight end alignment right now. They'll run option. Burrell going to keep it, nowhere to go. Tried to cut back, and there was no lane. They really bottled that play up a yard, and that's it for Utah State. Burrell keeps it and swallowed up a loss back at the 35-yard line. Good pursuit that time in front of the senior punter, and he'll get the kick away at his 20-yard line. End over end kick. Henry will field it at the 10-yard line for the Warriors. Cuts back against the green. Still trying to get to the far sideline and finally driven out of bounds at the 27-yard line. They rushed for 242 in that big 31-16 win. After the timeout, Muniz going deep, has a man open. It's caught by Rodney Bradley, and he's inside the 10 and down to the Aggies' three-yard line. So the Aggies now get it back at the 20-yard line after the touchback. They'll run it with Spate, and he carves out about three yards on the left side. Bobbled snap. Burrell trying to do something with it now. He'll run to the outside and he gets a couple yards after the 36 yard line in adverse conditions. Burrell setting up a screen and he just got rid of the football. They've not converted on a third down yet today, 0 for 4. Burrell pressure up the middle, tries to escape it, flushed out of the pocket and he's sacked at the 30 yard line. Backing off on the blitz this time, they'll run the football to the right side with Green and that's going to be well short of the first down. Burrell already has a touchdown run. He's going to keep it here on the option. Can't get to the outside. He's hemmed in at the 27-yard line. See if the Aggies try to go downfield or play it close to the vest here. They will run it. It's going to be Spate. Spins out of one tackle and eases it forward to the 31. We'll go with that double tight end alignment again on first down as we open up the third quarter. It's Spate hit at the line of scrimmage. 34-yard pickup. Here's Williams into the game at running back, and he's going to be a drop for a loss back at the 47-yard line. At the opening of the third quarter, Burrell to throw it, and incomplete. He wanted his tight end that time. It's time they send DiMartino in motion into the backfield. Split back set. They'll run the option. Burrell. And he has to eat the football, and that's Aaron Brown again. Tackle for loss, back to the 40-yard line. Bottom portion of the screen, Burrell looking over the middle, has a man, catch is made, and then it's dropped. The knees will take the snap from the end zone for Hawaii. Pressure coming, right sideline, Polaris with the catch, breaks the tackle, has a first down across the 20, and out to the 24-yard line. Laniz has plenty of time. Over the middle, Salas has it this time. And a first down catch to the Aggies 42-yard line. This game would be definitely in a different line. First down at the 25-yard line. Spate running right. Forget about it. He is shut down. Second down and 10 at the 25. Burrell goes to the air, and it's knocked down at the line of scrimmage for Hawaii this year. Third and 10 now. Burrell steps up and fires, and it's in or no, it's dropped. It was right in the midst of the Hawaii defensive back, Davis. Boy, the Aggies lucky they have the punt team out there right now. Caldwell fumbles the snap in trouble. He's hit, and it's into the hands of Hawaii, and it's a touchdown for Jeremy Bryant. Another gap, a bobbled snap, and Caldwell never had it. And Bryant, who also doubles as their starting corner, gets a huge special teams touchdown. This is an Aggies team that can score points in bunches over the middle, and that's intercepted. It's picked off by Hawaii, and that is Corey Paredes. Whack defensive player of the week for a huge game against Nevada. He had nine tackles, couple forced fumbles, and here's Green now breaking free. Green to the 10, Green to the end zone. Touchdown, Warriors. That is a, oh my goodness, when you look at how this happens, when you get a turnover, you want to, as a defense, try to stop the big play the very next play. They'll start this series from the 38-yard line. Over the middle, tipped, and incomplete. He's a running back at receiver. Looking that way is Burrell, and that's tipped at the line of scrimmage. Five receiver look. Burrell steps up, Umu's got him, and he keeps his footing somehow, and then finally goes down at the 30-yard line. 
they still going to have plenty of weapons to continue this dominance on the passing lane. Going deep, downfield, Bradley, and it is caught at the Utah State 44-yard line. We saw him break a leg at Idaho last year, and uh, he appears to be in tip-top shape this year. Here's Green breaking a tackle. Look at Salas, a very good blocker at the receiver position as well. Green straight ahead, and he has a first down. They work just as hard as anybody else, and you're seeing the fruits of their labor right now. Here's a handoff to Demude, Cheesy Demude, behind Moniz at quarterback. Pressure over the middle. Polaris the catch, first down grab. It'll be first and goal for Hawaii. Demude straight ahead, and he slams it into the middle of the line and down to the four-yard line. Now the hold of Shane Austin, third string quarterback, and the kick is good. So Hawaii adds to their lead a huge third quarter. But, you know, they rushed for 242 yards in the win against BYU, but they've not found that. Now here's a squib kick, and it is recovered by Utah State. Bartlett will run it out to the 43-yard line. With the catch, his eighth of the year, here's Spate running off right tackle, and Paretta hops on his back and drives him down into the turf. They create a lot of tackles for a lot of teams. On the play fake now, Burrell downfield, throws it up for grabs, and it is caught by, no, it's in, is it intercepted? It is. This guy's making plays all day long today. Couple turnovers now for the Aggies. Moniz to Salas, that's a first down grab out of bounds at the 40-yard line. And the rain, not much of a factor here in the third quarter, and they're airing it out over the middle. It's guess who? Salas, and it's another first down. And he's starting to heat up now after a couple big completions to Salas, looking to go to the air again. Back against the grain, the pass caught by Pollard, and he gets three yards. And Moniz showing why he's one of the best in the country at quarterback. Play fake this time, over the middle, catch made by Polaris. That's a first down. Moniz for the end zone. Salas, a one-handed grab. Touchdown, Hawaii. That will go into the highlight reels as one of the best catches you will see this year in college football. He snared it in wet conditions here in Logan. Trailing just 14 to 7 at halftime, but it has all come unraveled here in the second half. Williams running left, keeps the legs churning, and he gets a couple yards down at the 47-yard line. Not even worried about running. Second and nine. Burrell tries to dump it off, knocked down at the line of scrimmage again. And he's excited. And that ball's almost picked off. Now Spate will shift into the backfield on second down. Fakes a handoff to him. Burrell in some trouble. Trying to roll away from pressure. All kinds of Warriors after him now, and he's going to be sacked. But uh, you're relying on the Hawaii secondary to do something bad here. Underneath, it's almost picked off through the hands of Spate as uh, they have eclipsed uh, their average of 362 per game. Out of the backfield, swing pass to Green, and he rumbles down the sidelines. And uh, passing the torch to uh, players now as a coach, and there's a completion to Bradley. Hands it off to Green, right up the gut, room to Rome, he could go! Alex Green in the open field! He's gone, touchdown Hawaii, and that is four rushing touchdowns for Alex Green today. 360 yards rushing for Hawaii, the most in 14 years for their program. They're about to win their fifth straight, improved to six and two. With Jay Taylor, I'm Trey Bender. Early on, it was a hard fought game, a 14-7 halftime lead for Hawaii. And a lot of people thought, well, maybe Nevada just missed a few things. Now we're seeing this team is a lot better than people give them credit for. And Burrell has been under duress the entire game, and he goes down again. He'll try to regroup and get ready for a, a tough portion of their schedule. Here's Demude running right, and he gets a couple yards down to the 44. You don't like the cold weather. I can see it in your eyes. Second down now. Roush has room to run up the middle, tucks it, and he goes down at the 40-yard line. That's a nice thing for the coaches to build on. And the 48. Keeps it this time, bad decision, and he's gang tackle back at the 43-yard line. And there's one for 11 on third downs. They'll try to pick it up right here. It's Williams, and that's not going to get it done. That's going to be a very good matchup when Utah goes against TCU. It's going to mean a lot, and, and, and I think that's what's important about these di divisions. We, we talk a lot about the BCS. For the Warriors Jr. from Camarillo, California. 
Handoff straight ahead, and that's a first down carry for Cheesy Dumude. You set up that playoff system with the eight league champions. That way, there's no complaining. If you don't win your division, you can't come to the show. Coach McMacken enjoying this one, a 45-7 route as they beat the Aggies on the road in Logan.